there's a lot of waiting, there's a lot of looking at trees, there's a lot of squinting through binoculars. And then, if you're lucky, one of the most majestic sights nature has to offer trundles into view, the endangered Asian elephant. In this crowded country of 1.3 billion people, there are up to 30,000 wild elephants roaming around. So they're extremely intelligent beings. They have learned over a period of time how to overcome the barriers that we have put for them. So it's very challenging to work with elephants because they are challenging you at all points in time. Many Asian elephants are already living in what scientists call fragmented landscapes. These animals have moved from a national park close to a local village, foraging for more nutritious food. Scientists say global warming will make the situation worse when elephants have to deal with more extreme weather events like droughts and floods. The way that elephants will behave will simply be that elephants will now move out of their natural habitat, you know, into agricultural areas, into areas of human settlement, where they will come into conflict with people. The Asian elephant has been classified as endangered for 30 years. Across Southeast Asia, the population is declining, although here in India, where more than half the world's wild Asian elephants live, the numbers have stabilised. But scientists say with climate change, animals and humans will be threatened as hungry elephants come looking for crops. In 1983, during one of India's worst droughts, 50 wild elephants left Karnataka and Tamil Nadu and marched north into Andhra Pradesh, an Indian state where the animals hadn't been seen in 400 years. Professor Raman Sukumar is one of the world's leading experts on Asian elephants and he witnessed the migration. And there was a sharp escalation in conflict between elephants and people. You know, elephants damaged, uh, uh, trampled agricultural crops. You know, dozens of people were killed because people were not used to seeing wild elephants. Professor Sukumar has welcomed India's move to ratify the global deal on climate change agreed in Paris last year. India's foreign minister told the United Nations that October the 2nd was a significant day to ratify the treaty. This has been well thought out. It is the birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, who epitomised a lifestyle with the smallest carbon footprint. But even the most ambitious agreement isn't going to stop extreme weather events and their impact on the Asian elephant. Indian experts say the focus must be on managing the conflict that's coming. Education is key. Sneaking a peek of a wild elephant from a distant tree is OK. But getting too close, like this woman, can prove fatal. The erratic weather ahead may make some pessimistic, but Indian experts say the Asian elephant is as tough as its hide and the sun isn't about to go down on this mighty species. In Karnataka, Lisa Upton, SBS World News.